Howdy, thought I'd uh, give you a quick overview of the Movie Beam interface. This particular screen I like to call Movie Beam Central. On the left side you see there is a trailer playing. It will cycle through uh, a variety of movies playing their trailers. At any time you're interested, you can send it full screen. Up top we have what they're calling the featured picks and you can scroll through this list. Something you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for is the way a movie is presented. In this case it's widescreen 5.1 audio. This one is offered in high definition. Harry Potter's widescreen, Narnia's widescreen, and Chicken Little is not widescreen. I haven't really noticed a pattern why one movie might be and another might not be but you're going to want to keep an eye out if you have a preference and obviously if you're interested in high def you're going to want to keep an eye out for those flicks there's only about a half a dozen on the box at the moment though standard def movies are up converted if you have HDMI for a more organized method of finding flicks you can go to the find movies screen what you're not going to see on this particular screen is the option to filter movies by high def because we are connected using S-Video to the computer. When we're connected to the TV with the HDMI, the option automatically appears. Uh, the options to find movies are, are pretty standard. What you'd expect, you can search by title, genre, actor, director. The one that I find pretty interesting is arrival order. You can see what's just landed on the box. So this week it looks like we've gotten Face Off so far, which is uh, one of John Woo's first American films. Um, as we scroll through here, you can see there's a variety of flicks, old and new, for children and adults. At any time, you can click on a flick to see how much it costs and what the format is. You also have the option to uh, view the trailer as well. It auto plays when you come in and at any time you can just send it to full screen. Now you can see this flick here is offered in standard def. It's $3.99. Uh, generally I found the prices are $1.99 to $4.99 depending on the age of the film and if it's in high def. The high def ones are going to be $4.99 or $3.99 a little bit more. In general, I think the prices are fine. They're reasonable compared to Blockbuster or Netflix, as long as you don't have to pony up 250 bucks for the box. Another interesting thing you're going to find on the Find Movies screen are trailers for movies that are coming soon to the box, trailers for movies that are in theaters, and a variety of Movie Beam extra video clips, which may or may not be of interest. Back on the main screen, you're going to see an area for currently rented flicks. When you grab a movie, you are able to access it for 24 hours. So if you need to put the baby to bed or you get distracted and need to watch it tomorrow, it'll be there waiting for you. Right now I'm at zero. Mine have expired. Below that is an alert area. I've seen two alerts so far. One, it gets angry at me when I unplug it and it will give me a power alert. In this case what you see is a phone alert and that's because my Vonage box is in the kitchen and not so conveniently located near the movie beam. The movie beam does need to call up every 13 days or $28 for billing purposes, not for any sort of movie downloads. The good news is there is an ethernet jack on the back of the box so presumably in the future we'll have a little more modern method of communication. Down here you have your settings screen which is exactly what you would expect it to be. Overall I find the interface pretty intuitive, pretty attractive. Now and then there's a little lag but overall it's not bad and the service in general is worth checking out if you can get the box for 50 bucks.